all you new subscribers. I am so glad you're here and I'm on a weight loss journey. Actually, it's not a weight loss journey. It's getting a healthy journey. And today is Healthy Way in Wednesdays. And it's also a time that I share with you, how did I do last week? What were my ups, my downs, my concerns? What did I learn? And hopefully this will help you figure out what in the world is going on with you. Because what in the world is going on with me is always different each week, believe me. Some weeks I'm doing great, some weeks I'm doing okay, some weeks are like, where did that come from? So let me share with you. I have a few goals, and my goals are to drink at least 80 ounces of water every day. And I've done that at every day during the week. The weekend got a little challenging. I traveled this weekend and I wasn't prepared like I should have been. I don't know what was wrong with me and why I didn't pre prepare. I was in a funky mood and I just wasn't prepared. But when I got back home, I did continue drinking. I needed to exercise 30 minutes a day, six to seven days a week, that is with cardio. I've done that. However, I would like to up that to uh, more rigorous cardio, 30 minutes at least. So I started doing that too, which is wonderful. And boy, I can feel the difference. Excuse me, I have a few flyaways that are right in my eyes. I also wanted to walk 11,000 steps a day. Accomplished, I think my, I was on the average of 12,000 steps. Track everything, the good, the bad, the ugly. Did that. And I had some ugly moments this weekend, but during the week, great. I was doing wonderful. Then um, I'm also in hashtag step into tracking the new year. And I'll leave that listed below. I also am in Motivational Mondays with Gina Pearson. And I am also with uh, helping, um, participating with Jess in her Weight Watchers journey. And I'll link that below too. All of these are helping me immensely stay on track, keep me accountable, and gives me ideas. There's some great recipes and ideas among all those groups. So check them out. So how did I do this week? Well, last week during the weekdays, I was doing great. And then on the weekend, I traveled. And I also had this really funky mood. I was grumpy and not energized. I was frustrated with some things. And I was... I was just in a mood and I really wanted to snap out of it as fast as I could and I did snap out of it but before I did I ate more salty foods more sugary foods I ate later in the day and because I didn't drink as much water as I normally have uh, I think that did not help me at all so let me share with you something on Saturday before I left town, well actually let me share with you how my week went. I'm going to share with you my weight per day. So last Sunday, if I remember correctly, I was 192.2, no excuse me, 193.2 and I lost 5 pounds. Yay! Exciting. Then the next day, which was Monday, I was in 192.4. Great, I was on a great roll. Then on Tuesday, I was 191.6. Ecstatic. Then, <laughs> yep, on Wednesday, I went to 192.2. It's okay, life happens. You know, there's gonna be some fluctuations. Then on Thursday, I was 190.8. Wow, I was feeling really good, empowered. I knew I was gonna lose a bunch of weight over the weekend. January 13th, which was Friday, I was at 191.6. Again, I'm gonna have this fluctuation. But that night, 
I started getting this, I started eating something I hadn't eaten in a while, and that was barley. And I had barley two days in a row, and I probably had more salt than I normally have because I was making my own soup, and it was leftover broth from some other things that I had seasoned and salted, and I think I started retaining water. Because on Saturday, I was 193.4. It just started shooting up. When I got home, and so I traveled, and I had some uh, conflicts around the house, and because of that, and my car wasn't working for some strange reason. Anyway, there were some issues at the house. Nothing major, but just enough to, you know, rock the boat a little bit. And I did not prepare. I did not prepare at all for the weekend. The overnight stay at my sister's house in Wyoming. still didn't. I drank a little more soda, I didn't drink as much water, and I snacked on the drive because I was tired. I noticed, but I snacked on pretzels. It was better choice than snacking on candy, but I was hoping if I was smart enough, I would have brought my carrots, some more fruit, and some more vegetables, but I didn't. I'm learning that I'm gonna, it's gonna cause me some problems. When I got home late Sunday night, I weighed myself. Now, I don't normally weigh myself at night, and I know because it's crazy, crazy, crazy on when you step on a scale and what it's gonna look like. And so, I stepped on the scale, and I was 197.4. Mm -hmm. Can we say water retention? I was going to count that as my weigh-in, even though Sunday's my weigh-in. I weighed the next morning, which was Monday, Martin Luther King Day, and I'm counting that as my actual weigh-in day. And I weighed 194.2. And yay, one pound gain with all that different, uh, the extra salt, some of the extra sugar. I had more salt than sugar, but and the craziness. I'm going to go with it. I really wanted to say, hey, I'm throwing in the towel and re-weighing in on Wednesday because I know I'm going to have a great weigh-in tomorrow. I do. I know I'm going to have a great weigh-in tomorrow because I weigh every day. But I also learned by weighing myself every day, it's a tool. For me, it's a tool. It's not making me depressed. It's making me frustrated that why did I do that to myself when I knew those things could happen? So, another thing that affected it, I was not getting my seven to eight hours of sleep in. No. So that affects me too. So this life, getting healthy life journey that I'm on right now, I'm finding out some really important things about myself. I really need to be consistent with my sleep, my water, watch, heaviness on the salt and try to figure out what's causing me to crave that and the sweets and and so forth it's okay it's a learning and I know I would have lost a lot more or uh, I would have lost instead of gained a pound this week if I would have cut back on that sugar and then had a little more healthier choices on my traveling Overall, I did pretty well. I tracked everything on my traveling, and I enjoyed myself. It was fun to see my sister and her family in their new location up in Wyoming because they just moved there right before Christmas. So it'll be an exciting new place for me to go travel for a short weekend jaunt. So that'll be fun. How are you doing? Are you finding out things that are causing your health journey to maybe have a little mm, you know, a little bump in the road, that's okay, because this is learning, and that's what I'm excited about. I'm not upset. I normally get upset because of gaining weight, and I was, and then I realized, you know what, I'm here to help you, and, and we're helping each other. If I am not transparent and share all the good, the bad, and the ugly, how are we supposed to get better at being healthy? So, that's 
that's my journey. I hope you're doing well. Leave comments below. Let me know what you're doing. How's it going? How can I help you out? Have a very blessed day. May the Lord let his face shine down upon you. Until we meet again, have a wonderful, wonderful and blessed day. Bye-bye.